everybody, Jody Marketplace Boutique. How are all of you? It's summertime, yay. Today I have a box of goodies. Here's a big box of goodies. This is something that I got at a flea market. Super excited. Let's see what's in here. Woo I can't wait to see what's in here. Okay, so I have a new camera set up. Hopefully this works. We'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. Here is the box. The box of goodies. Let's see what we have. It might be a little wiggly. Seems like it's wiggling. Of course, I am kind of wiggling the, the desk, but this is super wiggly. Okay, let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. Oh my goodness. Here's a treasure box full that I got at the flea market. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. Oh, so exciting. I'm going to dump it out. Ooh. Look at all the loot. <laughs> Yay. I'm not even sure. I'm not sure what's in here. Like whatever I thought was valuable, I threw in the box. Or I thought I could sell on eBay. I've got my trusty light. Let's see what's going on. Hopefully this camera setup will work good. Because I can see pretty good, I think. It's a little bit different. So here we have some glasses. I think there's glasses in here. Yes. Super, super old. Look at that. Um, very, very old. Looks like it did kind of break there, but this is so old and it still has a label on it. This is going to be neat. Okay, so we have that. Ooh, let's see what else we have. I'm so excited about this. Here is a huge metal. Everything's really, really dirty. <laughs> So this person, he clears estates, I think, if I can remember right. Yay! Okay, it's been a while. I think it's been a month since I've done one of these videos. I don't even know how to open anything. So this says American Bicentennial to 1976. Ooh, that's cool. It's a metal. Isn't that neat? This is really neat. Okay, we've got a, a GS pen. Uh, if this is military, let me know. I think it is, I could be wrong, GS. It could stand for Granville School, who knows? <laughs> I don't know, but I grabbed it. This is neat, I thought this was adorable. I love to ride bikes. So this one might have to come with me. I like this one. Look at that. Isn't that cute? It's like an old bike. Oh, it's actually a really old piece. There's nothing on the back, but the end sticks way out. So this is a super, super old pre-1930s brooch. Isn't that cute? Actually, I think I'm going to keep this in the, for a while in my stash. Look at my little froggies I got from Robert's Ride Along. Isn't that cute? So cute. I love those guys. I'm going to add my little bike to it. I love riding bikes. So there we go. There's my little collection. Okay, we have another brooch. This one's got like a copper back. So we will sell that. So I'm gonna make a pile and I might sell some of these on Robert's Live this week. I'm gonna make a pile. Oh, it's all tangled up. We have a Catholic um, pray for me. These sell so, so well on eBay. If you come by these, grab these. They sell really good. Um, any kind of metal I grabbed. Okay, here's a Goodyear, looks like pendant, and it says, drop in the mailbox good for a year. I don't know. Come on. <laughs> Okay, 
Here is a dog license. Yay. Dog license. 1950. Sagan, Michigan. Woo. Here is a Golden Gate Bridge. I believe this is a token. That's cute. Yeah, I grabbed a bunch of like coin looking stuff. This is probably another token. Here is a parking token for parking so we don't get in trouble. Okay, what else we got in here? Oh, what's in this? Ooh, oh, this was full of stuff and I just grabbed it. And here's some little things. There were some boxes I wish I would have grabbed because these boxes sell really well on eBay. If you put these in a lot with different boxes, the vintage boxes sell really well. So make sure you pick those up. I keep forgetting that actually. Duh. Okay, so here's just a bunch of like um, pendants and earrings. Really, really pretty stuff that fell out of here. Ooh, that looks like diamonds. I'm sure it's just glass. Really cute things. Adorable. And this is a Sarah Coventry box, so that's kind of nice. We'll put that to the side. What else is in my loot box? Yay! Ooh, these are cute. Look at this. Oh my goodness. These are, earrings are so much fun. Those are fun. Hopefully we have two, but I'm not sure. This is a car. I think it's from the 50s. Maybe before. I'm not sure if these are one of those Tootsie cars or something different, but there we go. Yay, we have the other earring. Now we have a matching pair. These are so pretty, actually. They're really, really nice. Um, I would say those are probably 80s. Yes, and we will sell those. Hello, James. Hello, buddy. My daughter's cat is looking at me. Okay, here is a beautiful brooch. Look at how big this is. It's huge. Look at that. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Okay, so this is a Sarah Coventry brooch. Does this go with this maybe? This might have even, no, that's way too big for that. But this is a Sarah Coventry. Absolutely beautiful beautiful brooch that thing is huge oh my goodness we got some good stuff here is a very old belt buckle look at that that's nice oh and it's actually i thought it was a belt buckle but it is a brooch see that huh that is interesting Okay, so I'm going to sell that one. We are going to sell it all. Here's some keys. Keys also sell well. Oh, there's even a skeleton key on there. Um, so these probably just came from the house that he cleared. There's some old ones. Make sure when you look at keys that you put every bit of information on there, like where they're from. You can even sell them per piece if they have like a advertising name, gas station, automobile, anything like that. This stuff sells really well. Um, a really cool skeleton key too. Super dirty, but we will clean that up. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. This is like a dollhouse um, coat hanger. Dollhouse coat hanger. Who? This is super, super cute. Look at that. So darling. So cute. I didn't even know this was in there. Look at how cute that is. A little dollhouse. I have a lot of miniatures, so I might keep that one for a while. We'll just see how it goes. I don't have any cute little outfits, though. And the dog is barking, sorry. Here is an angel brooch. This is super precious. We are gonna sell that. Okay, we have dog tags. Now the last dog tags I sold, sold for a lot of money. 
So make sure you keep your eye out for dog tags. Surprised. Let's see, we've got some cufflinks. I'll try to just kind of put these in a pile. Here we've got this really neat. It looks like plastic. And it's a hat pin. That's cute. Look how old that is. Super old. And I did not bring any wipes up here, so. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Well, I was hoping this tripod thing would work, but it keeps shaking, so I'm sorry if all of you are getting dizzy. Here is a crucifix. Now, crucifix is when Jesus is hanging on the cross, right? I was told this the other day. You think I could remember. So here is Jesus. I think this is a crucifix and not just a cross because he's, we have Jesus there, right? I think so. And there is a little marking on the back. It has these beautiful beads, but look at how dirty it is. I can't even tell the color. I'm not sure what that says on the back. I thought it said like in New York or something. But I'm kind of unsure. So we'll have to look into this one a little bit more. I'm going to put that in my questionable pile for eBay. Okay, I didn't mean to get this. I don't even know what this is. What is this? It's a piece of metal. Okay, here's another one of those really strange things. Um, uh, I have no idea, no idea, let's sell that, I don't even care to know, <laughs> oh, this is a mother of pearl, probably 60s or so, what are you doing James, are you causing a ruckus? This is a really pretty pendant. James is causing a ruckus and the dog hates James. So that is my life. Okay. Here is a little locket, gold tone. I'm definitely going to have to test these gold tone ones because they look like gold. This one definitely looks like gold. So we will put that to the side. Okay, what else do we got here? This huge brooch. Look at this one. Look at the details on that. Wow. And on the back. That's what Sarah Coventry, that's what Sarah Coventry looks like. So that is another Sarah Coventry, and that might have even come in this box. That looks more like it. That would match perfectly. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to resell that. Okay, what else we got here? Um, we have a, <laughs> a little kitty cat ceramic. He's kind of cute. Let's put him over there. We have some cufflinks. This kind of reminds me of General Motors or something for some reason. But it's a pair of crown cufflinks. Really, really pretty. Really nice. Okay, we have, uh, what is this? Oh, is this like a hat pen? Wow, look at this hat pen. Wow, that's amazing. That's really pretty. So I assume that's pretty old. We have, what is this? Above the Bust. IRA Green. So that is a lapel pin and lapel pins, they sell really well. So we will sell that one. Ooh, this is pretty. 
Oh, I love this so much. Look at that. This is a very old brooch. That is so pretty. Look at that. That is beautiful. There's the back. It's absolutely gorgeous. I heard how my camera is moving so much, and I guess it's just like the vibration of it from the desk, which is really strange. I'm going to try not to touch the desk. Here's a Farmers National Bank uh, Lucky Penny. So they put a penny in here. A lot of times you could win these from the fairs. This is cute. I kind of have a lot of these, actually. I've been collecting these for some reason. I don't know why. I kind of just like them. They're interesting. I have one right there, too. We might just... So, yeah, that's cute. Okay, what is this? Let's get our thingy out. It says, St. Christopher, be my guide. Woo, this is old. Look at the back. Now, I'm assuming this is a lapel pin. It might be a hat pen. What do you think? Do you think this is a lapel pen or a hat pen? Very neat. I love that. That's really unique. I've never seen one. Ooh, here's a beautiful bracelet. I don't see any markings. It's so hot up here. I don't know if I could continue to do this in the summer here in this room. It's just nuts. I'm sweating so bad. <laughs> and I'm like not even halfway done. Oh my, oh my. Oh, here's a beautiful Napier bracelet. All right, y'all, I'm going to take my shirt off. <laughs> Oh, it's hot up here. Look at this. That is beautiful. This is uh, glass encased. Beautiful pendant. Very pretty. Okay, here we have another Catholic pendant. Really nice. We have MSU parking token. We have a, oh, that's cute. It's like a tennis racket. And that is for a tie. Here's another tie clip. These things sell really well. If they don't have markings, you know, probably 20. If they have markings, you know, maybe 35. I think would be the range, unless it's gold. Then well, that's a different story. Here is a really cute um, basket of flowers. I would say this is probably 90s or so, maybe 80s. And it looks like the rage on the back. Interesting. I've never seen that one before. Cute little pen. Isn't that darling? really cute really really cute um I definitely want to look that one up okay I don't know I have no idea on that one these are gorgeous look at the little rhinestones really pretty it reminds me of a swamp <laughs> okay I say that in an affectionate way um just because we used to play in the swamp, because that's what we had. So, <laughs> so it just reminds me of like flowers growing. Okay, yeah, that sounded weird. Okay, here's like a compass. Oh, this is a tie clip. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. Ooh, I love rhinestones. Rhinestones make me happy. Really nice. 
Okay, here we have another Catholic pendant and a probably the same thing. So this says Saint Therese. Child of Jesus, I think. And this is a really neat pendant. Very cool. Okay. Here is a little ring. Looks like Jade. Maybe 90s, I would say. Looks like 90s. Here is another one. Stop moving, stop moving, just stop moving, please stop moving. Here is a beautiful ring. That's really pretty. This one kind of reminds me of the 80s. That's gorgeous, right? I wonder if that's real. I'll have to test that one. Here is a Michigan lapel pen that is a state emblem. Ooh, we have a tiny little thimble. Thimble. Look at that. Look how small that is. Oh, that's so cute. You know what this says on it? Can you see that? It says, for a good girl. Oh, that's so cute. That is darling. Wasn't that cute? Here is another men's tie clip. We have, I grabbed like all the different looking things too. So I'm not sure what, this is a pendant. What is this? Strange. It almost looks like an ironing board. Isn't that different? Very strange. I don't know what that is. Any ideas? I would love to hear some ideas on some of that stuff because I just don't know. Wings. Wilkie America. We have another tie clip. That's a pretty one. We have a, a beautiful brooch with a little thing in there. Crucifix. That's, this is an old looking one. So, you know, the good quality ones too. You know, you can tell like they're not just completely mass produced. Look at the detail. Looks like he's missing an arm. Shoot. He is missing an arm. Look how old that is. That is super old. So I'm going to sell that one. Here is, I've seen these like little things a lot. They're like little pendants. And this is on a necklace. I would assume this is probably like 60s, 70s. I see a lot of these going on around that time. Here is kind of a metal, here's like a painted 
necklace. I thought this was interesting, so I grabbed this. I would say this is probably definitely like 80s. Probably the 80s. We have two earrings. We have a, another brooch. Engage and destroy, number five. And this is a lapel pin. It's kind of cool. Ooh, look at this one. Look at the pretty, pretty rhinestones on that. I'm not sure if these are real or not, but that is beautiful. Okay. We have, let's see here, all kinds of good stuff. Be really careful here. Okay, this is kind of stuck on this, but this is a bracelet and it's hand done. It looks like these kind of levels are coming apart a bit or too stretched out. It's really, really old. It's got like an old like wooden button on it. There's another lapel pen. Here is a brooch, but it's missing a little thing. So I'm going to try to see if I have another piece to that. That's when the craft lots really come in handy. We have a very heavy lead little piggy. Look how cute he is. These things are real heavy. It's super heavy. Boy, you can tell the lead pieces. I think I might have some more in there somewhere. Oh, this is small. Little Liberty Bell. Looks like um, Liberty Democracy. Okay. This was cute. I don't know what it is or what it's doing. <laughs> it's a little plastic deer. It's got like a reddish tone to it. It's real interesting. I love picking through the littles. Here's another lead piece. Here's a dog. Look at the detail on that. Or it could be a lion, maybe. Maybe a lion. It's a lion or a dog. I don't know. One of them. Okay, we have another GS. Ooh, look at this. Oh, this is an oldie. Wow, that's really old. I'm not really sure what this, what the meaning of this is or how old this is. It looks like it is kind of old though. I would say that's an old piece. Necklace. Gosh, that does look really old. It looks very British to me. I could be wrong. What do you think? How old do you think this one is? Got any hints? Any thoughts on this one? I don't usually see stuff like this, so um, I'm going to guess. You know, if I were to guess, I would think like 1890s. What do you think? Okay, here are some um, cufflinks, and I would say those are like 1950s era. We have an L for probably lions. Cute. We have a little Westie dog, or a little Scotty dog. Cute. Okay, so here is a sweater clip. Have you ever seen these before? This is a really pretty one. This is a beautiful sweater clip. 
I'm gonna have to test this one for gold. Um, it's it's got that color, so we're gonna test it. Here is a cute little. I would say this is like a mini trivet. What do you think? I don't know if that makes sense. Here's what it looks like on the back. This is strange. It could be a pendant, but I don't know. I'm a little confused about that one. Not sure about that. And a lead hat. Okay, what else we got here? We got some interesting earrings with a scorpion on it. Okay, it says Scorpio. Very neat. Is that a lapel pen or an earring? That might be a lapel pen. Hmm. Here is a beautiful. This is so pretty. Look at this. Here's a really pretty bracelet. That is gorgeous. Ooh, I just love that one so much. It's so dirty. I mean, look at my fingers. They're just really dirty. But yes, these will clean up nice. Okay, we have a tiny little necklace. It looks like it could be pearl and maybe a garnet or something. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Isn't that interesting? That's a really tiny locket on what looks like a gold chain, but it's broken. This inside here says 10 carat. It's so tiny, tiny. So this locket and the necklace is 10 carat gold. What a great find. Too bad that the whole chain isn't on there. That would have been really nice, but that is precious. Okay, we have a cute little choker necklace. I would say that's probably again like 60s or 70s, maybe 50s. It could be 50s. Okay, here is a bracelet. That's kind of interesting looking. Okay, and this is a Monet piece. You can just tell by the quality when you pick it up too that it's probably a pretty decent piece. Okay, and here is a little... I don't think these two go together actually. This looks like a copper toned necklace and this looks like a gold tone pendant but they don't look the same at all. I think the chain is much older. Here's like a little clasp. I'm shamefully dirty. <laughs> look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, these two definitely don't go together. This one's more crudely made really pretty and this one is more shiny we have another lapel pen so here we have another tie here is a beautiful pendant look how pretty that is this definitely looks victorian to me
not sure if that's real or not. So I'm beginning to think no, but I'm not sure about that. It doesn't seem that cool to the touch, but it is very hot in here. And here is the back. Now I thought this said listener on the back, but it looks almost like Lois Jean. I don't know if that's a brand or somebody's name. That's different. Um, I do see these all the time, like that kind of style. Quite a bit in the really old things. I think this is definitely an older piece. It's got an older style chain to it. Very nice. Very nice. I love just seeing this stuff. Here is, I would say this might be more modern, but it's got a barrel clasp and this is little birdies. This might be like a 50s item that somebody got on vacation. Real cute. It's kind of uh, twisted a little bit, but it is very, very pretty. Okay, and here we have a hot mess. <laughs> the smaller chain here is Avon. This is a Coca-Cola earring, which I don't think I have two of. Boy, this is going to take me some time. And this seems to be separately. Okay, we got this apart. It's a beautiful chain. Nice gold tone, it's very pretty. Okay, I'm looking at this a little better and this looks like an actual really good quality chain. So I'm gonna test that one for gold because it looks like a real good quality. So, and I would assume, you know, the gold pieces would be. That's beautiful. And then this one's just an Avon and a click on earring. <laughs> okay, we've seen that one got this bracelet that I finally got apart but unfortunately it's stretched and a little bit this is definitely an old piece you see a lot more modern stuff nowadays that are made like this too but that is neat very very old old piece silver tone chain just a nice silver tone could be silver, who knows? Usually silver is marked. But be aware too, um, some of these pieces that you think might be silver, you might wanna test them because they could have had one of those little jewelry tags that have fallen off. Cool. look at this guitars and like some banjos or some for somebody who played music that's beautiful what a beautiful piece here's the back so what a gorgeous piece to find in this box you never know what's in here and if you have a music enthusiast this would be a great thing to find so I will get that listed on eBay look at my hands Ugh. Yuck. We have some beaded beads and a necklace. And I think this is probably like 50s, just by the look of the accents on those beads. I would say this is a 50s plastic beaded necklace. Very, very pretty. Okay, the last two. Yay, this is cool. Oh my goodness, this thing is heavy. Here's a bolero necklace. Wow, this is real heavy. Look at that lion. This necklace is cool. So I'm definitely going to look into this one more. It's extremely heavy. It's very gold tone. And there's no marking on it that I can find, which is really odd because it is a really good quality. Well, maybe that's a marking. What's in there? 
it just says patent pending on the inside. But wow, that's an amazing piece. It's super heavy. It, you can even hear it clunk on the table. That is cool. It's not magnetic. Oh, if this was gold, that would be amazing. <laughs> it's not magnetic. Okay, let's. we'll have to test that one. And I think one of my favorites that was kind of all stuck together is this 1950s. What is this thing? I don't even know what this is. I don't understand. It's like a cracked egg. I don't know. <laughs> uh, cracked egg. I don't know. What do you think? What, what does this look like? Cracked egg? Cracked. Hmm. <laughs> Here's the back of it. It's definitely strange looking. I don't know. It comes on this double strand. So I think that's pretty much a 50s piece. Okay, everybody. Well, that is it. I made a mess and I have massively gross hands. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you can go find something cool this summer. Okay, everybody. Take care. Bye. I hope all of you are having a really good summer. Take care, everybody. Bye. <laughs> I'm dancing, dancing. I'm dancing for Scratch and Pete. Make sure to check out his channel.